Hey, this is Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today I want to talk to you about the metric table. We are making a video series on drug and dosage calculations for nurses and before we start, we first felt like we needed to talk about the metric table because in order to solve any type of drug problem, you must memorize and be very familiar with the metric table. On our website, if you go to RegisteredNurseRN.com backslash metric table, you can get a free printed out version of the metric table that you can use as a reference for when you're uh, working these videos or using our free practice quizzes and it's in a Microsoft .x file so you can just open it up and print it from your computer. So I really recommend that you check that out but I just wanted to make a quick video just talking about the metric table and giving you an idea of how it works. This table that I want to show you that's behind me, it just um, includes what you need to know as a nurse whenever you, you're working drug problems like grams, micrograms, kilograms, pounds, ounces, milliliters. There's a lot of other metric measurements that people use, but in the nursing field, this is mainly what we use. So here is the metric table. We have right here, we have it converted out. This is what you basically use whenever you're solving problems. In the next video, I will be talking about what dimensional analysis is and how you work problems using dimensional analysis. And we will be using these little this reference guide to help us solve those problems. So I'm going to go over it real fast. Um, you have a thousand micrograms equals one milligram. A thousand grams equals one kilogram. A thousand milligrams equals one gram. 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. 30 milliliters equals one ounce. One milliliter equals one cc. One, t one teaspoon equals five milliliters. A thousand milliliters equals one liter. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. One tablespoon equals 15 milliliters. Two tablespoons equals one ounce. So right here is a really great quick reference guide to help you whenever you're solving those drug problems. So in the next video, be sure to watch to learn how to do a dimensional analysis and um, how to solve problems. If you want some free practice quizzes, we have them at registernursern.com and you just go to the page and click quizzes and it will take you there to the practice quizzes. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you need the metric table, go there and check that out so you can get that and be sure to check out the next video that we're gonna have made. Thanks and thank you so much for watching.